Stencil tutorial for beginners. Welcome to Coding Locker, guys. This is Chandra Shwariani, and this is actually the part third. But uh, in real, this is the part one from which we'll start our practical things. In the previous couple of uh, parts, we have understood what is stencil, what is the use of stencil, why it came into the picture when we already have React and Angular with us, right? So these are the couple of things we have uh, seen. Now this is the time to start the practical implementation. This is these are the something which we'll do. We'll create components, styling, props, all those stuffs we'll do. So at first, let's so begin with creation of the uh, component and for that we need to configure our system and to configure our system we just need two things one is you should have the node js now it's not like we'll make use of this node js just that let me open my command prompt we will most frequently sorry most frequently we'll be using the npm commands right for stencil for that we should have node in our system i already have the node so just check the node version once you have already installed this npm and the node version the important thing is just to notice whenever uh, uh, you install then the version should be greater than six right or six that is mentioned here for the npm one right the second thing you need you just uh, should have some sort of editor right i'll be uh, working on visual studio code you can have uh, either visual studio for code or anything which you would prefer now after that you're good just select the location where you want to create the stencil web component stencil help you in creation of components so open a command prompt and in the command npm init stencil so i have pressed the enter and now it should ask for uh, some of the options like what we want so do we want ionic app or component we want the component press here now you have to provide the name let me provide stencil demo Touch, press enter and confirm so once this is done close this and here we are this is this is our package right so again open the command from at this location and run the command npm install so whatever the packages are defined in the package.json file by this command it will install and we have the node modules now the next is we have to open this in our editor so to that press a command like code dot so this would open our code in the visual studio code although you can do this uh, manually as well so here we are so you can see these are the node modules src folder and this stuff so we'll open your new terminal now we'll work with the terminal instead of the command prompt and few of the command the first one is npm start so before we look at the code let's see the output what this default template gives us so it runs at 3333 it is just building the component and we'll so we'll soon see the output about our first component okay hello world i'm stencil don't call me a framework so this is the default one we have and this is the component this is a web component the benefit of stencil is that it allows you to create the web components which can be reused in any application whether you work uh, uh, in this the, the component if you work with the angular application or with the react application even the simple html application you can just simply copy and provide the reference of the component and you should be good now let me uh, switch to visual studio and see what we have so here we have our component the component uh, css we have component tsx files these are the two files which are uh, most important here you will create the component now one thing uh, one more thing actually about stencil this is a combination of angular and react i have explained in my previous videos just a um, short i'm telling you so by looking at the code you would see this export this component features if you have worked in the angular and the react then you must be familiar with this and at last we have the render function similar to the um, react one and here we have this jsx code is written right jsx code which is which comes with the react so this is the combination of both the frameworks and uh, this help us in creation of the web component so let's create our first component for that let me uh, delete these files delete this and delete this one so i have removed all the files which i do not require right now delete uh, not this component uh, this one utils we don't need this utils as well right 
so in the index html right now we do not have any component let me delete this as well so let's create a new folder and name it my card so i'm creating a fresh component named my card and for that i just needed two files my card dot psx similarly we i need my card dot css okay let's enter uh, it's not a valid name i think we have i mistakenly entered the space okay now in the tsx the first thing which you should do you have to import the component and another thing so this is the uh, thing the, you have to import the component and h so basically this h let me f12 see what it is the h namespace is used to import jsx types for elements so previously we have seen uh, that where uh, we have this render method so it was uh, something like jsx was written within the render method and this is uh, happening because of this h1 so you have to import this h as well the next is you have to decorate make use of this decorator component and provide the tag name tag name is something through which you will call your element in the html like we have div we have uh, table right similar this your customer custom element my card you can name it anything right this is your custom thing then similarly you have to provide the style url although you can provide the we'll go in detail about this uh, how we can uh, provide the styling as of now i'm going to use a style url which will uh, call this my card uh, card of css and shadow uh, call in true keep it default as it is we'll understood about shadow scope everything we have in the pipeline next then simply you have to export this class and use this render method so export my class class render i am writing as simple code as possible further we will actually uh, start adding some of the functionality which i was uh, actually mentioned in the, my powerpoint powerpoint slides and as of now this is just the basic one so it is rendering jsx which is a dev one right so let me provide a class as well maybe uh, my card wrapper and here i can do some sort of styling let me provide a background color maybe Let's keep uh, where is HCCC maybe yeah that should be fine just to see we are have our styling with this that's all you need to do copy this one go to your index.html file and in the body tag paste it like this perfect once all is done press the ctrl c y cls and npm start so again you have to start this let it run in the browser and see what we have we should see ideally our component let me close this one let it build let me close this one as well meanwhile it is still building okay we have this is my card component right but i cannot see the styling let's uh, check or do you guys see uh maybe go to this wrapper paste it and this time you do not need to rebuild uh sometimes you have to actually press the refresh okay we have the border that means we have the css as, as, as well so we will not provide more formatting right now we will not focus on more on detail what i'll do i'll just give you a shortcut that how this component can be used in the different applications in the later part of course we will have to cover in the deployment time that we will see that uh, how we can make use of this HTML, React, and Angular in different different uh, applications. But right now, just let's uh, try and see how I can reuse this. Now, to reuse this, first of all, again you have to terminate the session. Control C, Y, C L S, just to clear. And N P M, run build command. So what I'm doing, I'm running the build command, which would actually compile the code and generate the JS files out of this TSX files and paste it in some sort of disk folder for us so once this is done i'll show you the disk folder here we are reveal in explorer and you can see 
this is my stencil demo project and here we are we have the test one right so if you go to this custom elements you will see some of the files if you go in cgs here we are in the collection we have the component we have my card and we should have our js and csl file right we have not written the js file and the css file but still we are able to you know get those files and this is the reason this is the way, uh, uh, actually reason why we are able to you know uh, uh, make use of this component without any dependency in application because in the end behind the scene everything is converted in the vanilla javascript which can be used in any application so now what i uh, what next i have to do let me open a visual studio this time i'm going to uh, open a visual studio uh, let me open just wait for a sec okay here we are and i am going to create a new project here i'll create a new project new html project here and uh, the, actually they i'll create a hp.net web application and in what i'll just create a simple uh, uh, what we say the html page and we'll see can can i reuse the component or not click on next let it be the web application for i don't mind as of now create this empty one click on create okay let it create let me pause me okay so it has created the web application for us here we are right so this is the empty one so let me create a file see my right click is still not working so click on add uh, go for this html page write it index okay here we are now you just need the two scripts and where are the uh, two scripts we have those two scripts here in the index.html file these are the two scripts which you need so go back to your uh, solution write it and after that you just need this element my card and this is another application maybe br after that you need to provide the path and you already know we have created our dist, dist folder in what we have everything so come back to your uh, visual studio application uh, web application paste it here and see what you need the first thing which you need is the stencil demo proj esm here we are this is the first file you need the path is different i just have to correct the path the second uh, second file you need is the stencil demo proj.js so this is the file right now just copy the path and replace this like this similarly copy the path and replace this delete these two files remember you should have this module this you should have no modules press ctrl s and run the application in the chrome so see this is the our different application right and this is something a different component which we have created in a different application but now we are just reusing this one although practically you will never see by uh, uh, where we are actually importing using the scripts and all those stuff we'll always actually create an npm package we'll install that npm, NPM package in our different applications such as angular and react and there we will call it heavier so this is your index.html not the 333 uh, the stencil application and here you can see still i'm able to call this further we'll go uh, uh, in detail where we'll pass the data from this application this is the application to this uh, component and see how it is happening we'll do uh, like http requests we'll understand how we can pass the parameters we'll understand that how we can see that how communication happens between multiple components when they are at the sibling level or when they are having the child and parent uh, hierarchy so all of them we'll cover in our upcoming uh, parts so that's all for this part hope you should be configured able to configure the system and uh, create the simple stencil component uh, with this tutorial um, if you have guys any feedback any query anything any uh, uh, any feedback like want to share on any detail component you want to you want me to create the videos on you can please let me know i'll be happy um, to create uh, create those videos and i'll be happy to answer any any queries you have thank you for uh, being at coding locker guys see you uh, in the next video have a nice day